Oh boy, <laughs> you will just tell him what you just said. No, we'll just no we will not tell him what I just said. They have to come to the show if they want to see what goes yeah. on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've never really been flooded with a bunch of people just wanting to come watch either. I don't know why. So we have such a good time, you just never know what Well, happened. you know, uh, our ratings are where they've always been. They've never gone up or no, down? They d no, they never go up or down. They never go up no. or down? No, they just stay in the... Online viewership <laughs> has gone up. It has. It has. Well, online viewership. People are watching online, they tell me yeah. that. They watch they're online. They're watching you. They're not watching me. Well, they, no, they watch the show online. Mm -hmm. That way they can zip through segments that they well, want to see they and come what they don't want to see. actually they to watch people like Travis Dozier here. Well, the viewership in Yevil will skyrocket yeah, next will. week and I'll find out that, that Travis is going to be on there. Judy will be on the phone calling everybody, my baby boy's on TV. We'll, we'll keep it We'll keep it down low. <laughs> low key. Low That's right. right. Yeah. Try to keep the charisma under control, Travis. Right. We can only take so we much We won't be able here. to fit through the door. <laughs> but Travis, you are here. This is Travis Dozier. Thank from you. Yellville, and there's Yellville Community, I'll cheat, Marion County Community Center Project. Yes. Is that the one up at the fairgrounds? No, this is uh, this is a new uh, endeavor. Oh, good. Uh, taken okay. on, originally taken on by Marion County Hometown Health, and uh, they, several years back, before I even came back into uh, Marion County and back home, they did uh, a little study, feasibility, <coughs> feasibility study, mm -hmm. with uh, the residents of Marion County to see if there was a need or a desire for a community center for Marion County. And uh, did that in conjunction with the ASU and had their students kind of do that study and, and, and survey. <clears throat> Got a great response back from the residents. And yes, they wanted to see a community center in Marion County. Uh, wanted to see uh, an indoor pool, an indoor walking track, mm -hmm. uh, meeting facilities, um, racquetball, which was high on the list of things that they would like to see. Uh, coming from Berryville, they had a community center there. Racquetball court was always active. Uh, mm -hmm. So they were kind of surprised to see that. But a place where not only kids could go after school, but uh, parents could bring their kids, uh, could do dance classes, could do craft, uh, craft uh, sessions. Uh, little meeting rooms, and then also banquet facilities that would be available to do banquets for up to 100, 150 people in there. Mm -hmm. So I uh, saw that as a need, and so they kind of took off and started Marion County Community Services, and we are a 501c3, and uh, it, it kind of rolled down to me this year as being the chairman of that board uh, that's doing that. And so you missed a meeting, did you? Yeah, I, I, I must have missed a meeting, and, and my name got thrown in the yeah. pot. That's yeah. how it always works. Uh -huh. Who's not here? Um, so we are we are just starting out. Uh, we are we're in the need of land. If anybody out there is so got you don't some have land, a location. We don't have a location, and boy, and that's we throwing know, it out there on faith, isn't it? We know that that is that's the key. But it's going to be yeah. close to town. It's going to be what we really want is something in between Flippin and Yellville. Okay. Uh, that would be uh, site neutral. Uh, so mm -hmm. to speak. We know that there's always been that little rivalry between Yellville and Flippin from school and uh, athletics. Mm -hmm. uh, this we need, we need this to be something that the entire community can use and, um, and come to. Uh, so like I said, <coughs> we're, we're looking for land. We're in the process of, of you know, applying for grants for that. However, there's not a whole lot of grants out there for brick and mortar anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, know, the, you can get grants for programs all the time, but yeah. brick and mortar kind of went out the door when this very beautiful library over here, uh, that was one of the last things that the Reynolds mm -hmm. Foundation you mm -hmm. know, did. Mm -hmm. And so there's not, uh, there's not a grant to build a building anymore, there's just grants for yeah. programs. So we're looking for a, a place to put it. And then we'll be uh, then we'll be looking for money to to build it. And Have you been looking land yourself? I mean, would you <coughs> yeah, say that's an ideal place to put it. We've been uh, actively out there looking. Uh, we I find myself just driving around and, and I'll see a, a for sale sign for land and I'll I'll kind of look at it and see you know that that might be pretty good. Yeah. They're 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 really wanting something big enough that they can expand and not right. get themselves landlocked in at some point. So about sixty to eighty acres, mm -hmm. which that does sound like a lot. Yeah, but uh, the idea is that. You know, we might want to put in some phase ball one, fields, phase two, you know, yeah. uh, soccer fields, some walking tracks. Although, you know, Flippin and, and Bull Shoals and Yellow have all got great city parks, and, and we don't want to take away from those. But we do want to have uh, some of those things that those places don't have. Uh, indoor pool would be fantastic. Indoor walking track would be mm -hmm. fantastic. Um, the, the meeting rooms is something that, the, you know, the community is really looking for. I might mention that um, the indoor walking track... 
is uh, something we collaborated with the Flippin' High School. You know, they have that new gym, and they have mm -hmm. a sunken floor, and they've got a walking area up above. And so we went, or actually, I should say, Flippin' Schools got with us and asked if we'd like to be a co-sponsor for a grant that they wrote that allows them to open up at 6 o'clock in the morning and stay open. At, and I want to say it's until at least 6 o'clock at night. It may be until 9 o'clock on the weekends mm -hmm. where folks can come in during inclement weather and still do the walking around the, the top of the gym. So yeah. we, we know that there's a need and there's a desire for an indoor walking facility. So mm -hmm. it, it's right there. We just have to, we just have yeah. to get the building and, yeah, we did and some put ball it there. games, I think, this year. And it, it's a nice oh, facility. Oh, beautiful yeah. facility. Yeah. We love it having is. that. Uh, we, we like having the, the new facilities in our, in our areas. Mm -hmm. uh, Flippin's got one. Of course, Yeovil's got the multipurpose facility, too, that are, mm -hmm. that are both mm -hmm. very Nice. Well, have you got a, a like a bank account established somewhere where contributions we, can already be made? We certainly do. Good. Yes, uh, we we actually have a, a website, Marion County Community Services org. You can go and you can check out uh, the website. Uh, it talks all about the community center project and everything we've got going on. Um, but there is a place on there where you can go and you can donate, and we'll take donations uh, of five dollars. You know, up to however however much you'd like to do. And, uh, of course, we are 501c3, so it's uh, completely tax deductible, and we'll get your receipt on that uh, if you need to. Um, now, once this is finished, will, will it be turned over to the county to manage or will it be privately managed? It'll be, it'll, the, the idea is for it to be managed by the board. So okay. it won't be and it won't be funded. a community it won't be a, a county building or, or a county. So it'll be a privately owned. It'll be structure. a privately owned structure uh, that the the board will take care of and maintain and and then we'll we'll fund that through uh, the grants of course but then also memberships you can mm -hmm. you'll be able to get a membership mm -hmm. for your family and mm -hmm. come and use it you know any time before or after uh, during school mm -hmm. and uh, and it'll be really nice be a great place for birthday parties uh, wedding receptions. Uh, meetings. You've got two great, I think, population hubs in Mountain Home and Harrison that it would be, you know, right in the middle of. Mm -hmm. You could draw from both of those sure. areas yeah. for for regional meetings and mm -hmm. stuff too. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. we're we're really excited about it. Uh, it's it's a matter of getting the word out. There's advertising space available on the the website if you're a business and you want to uh, get your name out there and support the program. We'd certainly encourage you to do that. And uh, we just got to get the word out. And yeah. once we get that location. And, and the land procured and, and set, then I really think you'll find a lot of interest and there'll be a lot of talk about that. Well, we need to keep, keep uh, this project in front of our viewers and because of that, that, I'm sure that there may be somebody out there that might want to be a part of it to donate or, or, or help you get the word out. We'd so, love to have all yeah. the help, all the volunteers yeah. that uh, yeah. they're out there would like to help. We'd be glad to have them. Sure would. Mm -hmm. Marion County Community Services dot org, and there's a there's a page on there, like I said, to donate, but also a contact us mm -hmm. if you've got some ideas or information. You can. And I think we have call. a phone number on the screen four four nine five five. What is it? Five 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 is that five right? five five five. That's my okay. office number. Uh, can they call? Travis you? is like, oh dear. Your number's yeah. already yeah. up there. You can, can you can call us all day long. There we yeah, go. Yeah, okay. I like that. Travis <laughs> okay. like, oh dear. <laughs> but, yeah, but uh, yeah, if you have any questions about it, be happy to answer what right. I can and uh, and and get in touch with us. All right. Thanks, Travis. Thank you all very much. For, we love for having us over. Yeah, well, absolutely. good luck on the grants. There are health grants out there, you know. Right. We'll get go after those health grants. The government does have a bunch of those. All right. Trying to make Mary County a healthier place. Who's our it's final my home. guest? Well, I know it is. You've got family Sorry. there. You've got he, roots. He can get GF and Chloe Jane. If you and can get GF walking, you have. Oh. Saw your, I saw your dad last week. He, oh, dad. He seems to be fine. He seems to be fine. Seems to be. Cheese uh -oh. whiz <laughs> on a pork run, I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, I tell poor old daddy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Travis knows mom and daddy well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, who's wait? next? I was going to ask you, would you like to tell us who's next? Sure, we, we are down to our last dance, okay? Uh, we are having a last dance, right? Because Mayor Osmond is not here. No, he's not. He <laughs> he's not busy. here. And, and Melody's face, she's, 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 she's zapping out of it. <laughs> so Melody Sykes, we're going to rouse Melody, and uh, Melody rather. Melody Sykes is here, Judy Fagan and Julie Tilly are all here for an event called The Last Dance. And they're going to be here to tell us exactly okay. what that is and uh, how maybe you can take part. Very good. Good enough. Come back in a couple minutes.